Despite the elegance and grace, gymnastics is known to be one of the most dangerous sports in the world. It has one of the highest injury rates, with around 100,000 gymnasts getting injured every year. This comes as no surprise as it involves catapulting yourself in the air and managing to land in the air. Landing on your spine, head, or neck would result in catastrophes. Let's see what happens when the landing isn't perfect. Let's begin with Samir Ait Said. Most of you would have probably seen videos of this go viral on the internet a while back. Samir Ait Said is a French gymnast who, just like every other athlete, hoped to win big at the 2016 Olympics held in Rio de Janeiro. Televised all across the world, Samir was attempting the vault. It's basically a task where you have to run across a stretch of land, project yourself in the air using a raised platform, and then somersault in the air and finally land on your feet. Sounds simple enough, right? Having all eyes on him, Samir took one deep breath and ran. He jumped into the air and somehow landed on the ground, but not quite as he had trained himself to do. So Samir's left leg had completely twisted and his foot hung limp as he writhed around in pain. This is one of the most shocking injuries to be captured from the Olympics. You can hear the audience gasp in horror and the judges cover their faces once they see the state of Samir's leg. The injured athlete was quickly carried onto the stretcher as the spectators cheered for him in support, some even getting teary-eyed. You would think that sustaining such a devastating injury would make Samir leave the sport for good, but you'd be wrong. Right after his leg surgery, Samir filmed the video saying he was hoping to recover in time for the 2020 Olympics. Samir not only had to undergo a a long rehab period, but also had to suffer the loss of his father during this time. However, his struggle came to an end as he qualified for the Olympics in 2020 and represented France once more. Moving on to Song Lan's horrific fall. Belonging from China, Song Lan's gymnastics career began at a high point. She was thought to be one of the strongest vaulters that China had. However, before she could even represent China on an international scale in the Olympics, Song Lan suffered a tragic fate that changed the course of her entire life. In 1998, while competing in the Goodwill games held in New York City, the 19-year-old was warming up for her vaulting routine as the cameras rolled in anticipation of the actual event. During her warm-up, Song Long ran down the platform and was about to perform a simple vault when she lost control of herself and landed on her head. From the video footage of the incident, you can tell just when Song Long loses control. In an interview, Song recalled that while she was in the air, she could tell that she had made a mistake. She blamed it on her speed as she could only do a half flip. Song Long was immediately loaded onto a stretcher. She was admitted to Mount Sinai High hospital, and no one knew if she would even survive the fall. Her vertebra had been crushed from the impact, and she was rushed into surgery. Since then, she underwent many surgeries and was visited by many celebrities like Leonardo DiCaprio and Jackie Chan. Right now, Song Lan wears many caps. She's become an advocate for disabled individuals all over the world. She has made many appearances on television to share her inspirational story. After an intense rehab journey, she hopes to represent China in the Paralympics. Finally, we have Hulissa Gomez. The 15-year-old Hulissa Gomez was eager to become an Olympic star. Born to migrant workers, Hulissa flew to Japan with her coach Al Fong to compete in the World's Sports Fair. However, many people could tell that Gomez wasn't fully prepared. While performing a move called the Yurchenko Vault, she was quite shaky and couldn't land on the vaulting table properly. Despite the hesitance, Gomez went ahead with the routine because her coach assured her that she was going to do well and that she needed this in order to win high points. During one of the warm-ups, Gomez attempted the Yurchenko Vault once again. This time, however, her foot slipped on the springboard. This caused her to land at very high speed on her head, crashing into the vaulting table. Gomez was declared quadriplegic at first. Her tragic story doesn't end there, though. While she was recovering in the hospital, her ventilator somehow got disconnected. This caused even more damage to her brain as she went into a coma. Gomez survived three years after that and passed away in 1991 from an infection. Her death prompted the Olympics Committee to take strong safety measures. The launching mat has been enlarged since then so that gymnasts could get more time to correct themselves. The vaulting table has also been made more stable so that gyms can get a fair shot at perfecting their landings. However, all of this could have been avoided if Gomez's coach had stopped her from attempting such a risky move. This isn't the only tragic story we have that involves coaches that just wouldn't listen to the complaints of their athletes. Now, let's move on to one of the most controversial moments in gymnastic history. While the human body can perform such amazing marvels, it does have limits. There are some moves in the world of gymnastics that have been simply banned from being performed because of their dark past. One of those moves is the Thomas Salto, named after an American gymnast. Kurt Thomas, it is performed in a floor exercise. It involves a run-up and flips you have to perform while you're in a tucked position in the air. To land safely, you have to roll out in time. If you don't, you're most definitely going to land on your neck. While this move was solely reserved for men's gymnastics, 20-year-old Elena Mukina was urged by her coach to perform this for the 1980 Olympics. Representing the Soviet Union on the center stage, Elena had a lot riding on her tiny shoulders. She knew the Thomas Salta was something her body could not perform. She expressed her worries to her coach many times, but he would 
would not listen. Elena had already suffered major injuries before and was still recovering from them. Despite her reservations, Elena trained for the Thomas Salto. Just two weeks before the 1980 Olympics began, Elena attempted the move one last time. She under-rotated, which caused her to land on her chin. The damage was quite severe. Elena was permanently paralyzed from the neck below. Since then, Elena was quite vocal about the pressure she was put under to perform as an athlete. She finally passed away in 2006 due to complications from her quadriplegia. Ten years after her tragic accident, the Thomas Salto was banned from female gymnastics, and in 2017, it was banned from male gymnastics as well. But that isn't the only move that has been banned from gymnastics. Gymnastics is a sport that can test the limits of creativity. Just when you think you've seen it all, gymnasts of different ages and sizes come to shock you. In the 1972 Olympics, 17-year-old Russian gymnast Olga Corbett left everyone astounded by the skill performed on the uneven bars. She invented and perfected what is now called the Corbett Flip. This move is done on uneven bars. No gymnast before this move had stood up on the 8-foot high uneven bar before. But Olga did that. Not only did she stand up, but she also did a backflip from it and swung back on the shorter bar. This earned her worldwide fame and led to a gymnastics move to be named after her. Witnessing Olga land that dangerous move electrified the audience. But it's hard to ignore how one wrong move or an ill-timed move could have landed Olga into deep trouble. Despite getting a lot of applause and recognition from other gymnasts all over the world, the Olympics declared standing on the high bar illegal. So yes, the Corbett flip, now also known as the dead loop, has been banned. When asked about it, Olga confessed that she was quite disappointed about it and claimed that gymnastics is the expression and it shouldn't be hindered. Despite what Olga says, we can't help but hold our breaths as we watch her do that backflip every time. Finally, there's the syllabus mount skill. This move involves balancing on the beam with legs straddling it and then doing a chest stand. Named after gymnast Daniela Silvas, this move is quite a high risk and doesn't have a huge payoff. Gymnasts nowadays try to avoid this skill, especially after witnessing USA's Alicia Sacramone fall in the 2008 Olympics. That's a wrap for this video. What dangerous moment in the world of gymnasts have we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.